Hi. How's it going, guys? We world number six. Number six, yeah. We just got back from eating at Friendly's and we were joking about this one, number six, could be the weekly hurl instead of the <laughs> weekly world because we're also uh, kind of built up on food and ice cream. Anyway, yeah. we have yeah. a little bit of a broken weekly world this week because Josh left early, so we took a little footage of him while we were at Friendly's. Since Josh is leaving early and he won't be able to be in our weekly world, we're gonna get some footage of Josh here. Oh, that's a real close On up. lunch. <laughs> At lunch. Yeah. So, Josh, how did the week go? Pretty good. So we got the uh, bandsaw running. Uh, we got that wire to everything in. Um, we have the lathe taken apart. That's uh, getting worked on now. Chris is um, rewiring some stuff on that. <laughs> um, we got the welders going. We've been practicing a lot of welding this week. Um, Raj over here is doing pretty good on the, on the welding too. Yeah. Um, Are you yeah, liking it? Yeah, Are you I liking like it. the, it's a lot of fun. the equipment and yeah, the, aluminum, the, uh, the new really aluminum nice. welding gun is fantastic. XR um, Aluma Pro for the win, guys. It's, it's amazing. Very yeah. heavy, but we gotta learn yeah. how to use it. We so. get a workout while we weld now. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> This is our push-pull gun. We just got it from Air Gas, and he's filling up the wire. Yeah, yeah. Here goes the roll. It's rolling, and he's gonna be squirting out of the gun here pretty quick. Oh, there it went. There it went. Go right in. Yeah. Come right out. There oh. it is. is that beautiful? <laughs> nice. Okay, we're done. <laughs> but um, other than that, I mean, the shops really come along. All the um, CNCs, CNCs are leveled. Yep, they're leveled up. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to think what else we got yeah. done. Hmm. We got uh, uh, Roach. Roacher. Oh, yep. The we got the um, mounted, mounted on. Yep. Arbor Press mounted. Arbor Press. Not the brocher. <laughs> no. Yeah. Let's see what Arbor else we got done. Um, I remember. Yeah, it's okay. It's a lot. We stuff. did a lot. Yeah, oh, and I have stuff. everything now to build the suction. Oh, we got our steel um, too. Yes, yeah. we got our steel for the new prototype and for the storage rack. Yes. And then I have all the parts for the suction um, container for emptying out the CNC machines and stuff like that. So very Nate's, productive week. Nate's back with us here, one of our little <coughs> interns. They have half day Fridays for you have one more next week as well, right? Yeah. So you excited to be here? Yes I am. Yeah, we're enjoying lunch at Friendly's for a Friday break. And here I'll spin it right. Hi to everyone. <laughs> yep. Cheryl joined us and wanted to come back and talk about a few of the things we had done. So Without further ado, we've been working on securing and getting things set up. Our arbor press is now secured to the table. We've been working on the lathe. It's out of the spot here because it's over at the setup area where we're hooking it in and testing it on the power. Oh, I'm videoing so blank space. I'm like, what are you pointing the lathe to? Was here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no lathe. There, the lathe right. is not here because not it's over here. at the setup Got area. Got it. <laughs> but uh, working on getting lathe chucks at least figured out what we have, what we don't have. And um, you can see we have supplies now. So we have our one and a quarter inch square tubing, five pieces of that times 24 foot length. We have a rectangular tube and we have three four inch pieces of 21 foot steel pipe. These are gonna be pieces and parts for some of the projects that we're doing plus our one kilowatt turbine frame. So. The guys have been practicing like maniacs welding. We are getting some new welding supplies in a couple days. We've already got some new magnets, new clamps, new helmets, gloves. We're getting more gloves, more tips and consumables for the welding supplies. 
It's like Christmas, things are arriving every day and uh, we're working on projects one at a time, knocking things out. So it's really amazing how things are coming together here, guys. There's one of our welders, our aluminum welder there. Our intern was demonstrating a little of his welding proficiency a moment ago and my Uncle Raj and Josh were little welding maniacs working the yeah. entire week. Just welding, 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 testing, working on getting settings dialed in. So this is only like a quarter of all the pieces. You guys yeah. welded a lot. We threw a lot of the test pieces away. We're finally getting the machine dialed in. Yep. The first number is for the heat. Second number is for the speed. We got it pretty much dialed in for eighth inch to 14 gauge. Yep, which is what we're going to be doing for our scoop. turbine scoop. So we're just making sure that everyone is as uh, proficient as they can be before we turn them loose on the turbine scoops because making more of those is going to be very expensive. We can mess up all we want on the test pieces. Right. Um, we're getting more supplies for the welding area, hats, helmets, gloves, welding magnets. Uh, we have more consumables for nozzles and tips coming. and just basically getting the welding area set up so that we can begin fabrication. We have our forklift back now, so we can move pieces of equipment around, the large pieces of equipment, which is nice. That's why the lathe is now over here, because we've been working on this. We've been getting it rewired for 480. It's almost done, but we're waiting on a few components to come. And the bandsaw is now fully working. That was working last week, but we've added a few more tweaks to it to make it a little nicer and I am getting the collet set screws installed on our vertical mills over there. So lots of things have been happening this week and lots and lots of pieces and parts coming in the mail and arriving still. The CNC machines are leveled? Yep, our CNC machines are fully leveled now. They're all ready to go. There is nothing more to do with the front machine. It's all fully leveled, fine leveled, and all the parts are repaired. The back machine, I'm still waiting on one more component for that little LED switches to turn the uh, three-phase fan so I can do low, medium, and high speed on our cooling fan for the spindle. But after that's done, both machines will be ready to rock and roll. We'll be able to start making chips on them. Got some new racks built for the long steel when we cut them on the van off. So that way we have big... 24 foot pieces, we can have them supported here and they're all in line with our with our saw, our table. Nice. So that we can cut pieces efficiently and accurately. Yeah. So at this point we are just moving one step closer to beginning actual fabrication on parts. If all goes well this next week, we should be cutting parts for for the frame for the new one kilowatt unit. So that's pretty much it. This week we've been just knocking things out even yeah. further and getting ready, getting materials ordered. We have more materials coming next week for the one kilowatt turbine scoop, so stay tuned guys. Thank you See for you next week. <laughs> yeah. Ciao. Thank you for sticking with us and believing in us. Harmony Turbines. We now have the power to change the world.